Hi guys, this is your average fraghead Victor and we will be taking a look at the new batches of Loyal Agar from Luxodor Niche Perfumes which has received plenty of positive attention from the Philippine fragrance community because of it being a great clone of Perfumes de Marley Layton. Are there any difference from the first batches which are in 60ml? And the short answer is yes, so let's get right into it. First, I would like to thank my good friend Bernard for letting me borrow his bottle for the review. So just a recap, I already did a review of Loyal Agar which I will leave a link in the description box below. Shout out once again to my good friend Ericsson for letting me borrow his bottle for that review. This is basically known for its beast mode performance as these are in extract concentration but being sold very cheap. I personally got mine for around $22. Their official website, however, are selling this for $45, but I urge you to check with your local seller if they have access to this as they may be able to hook you up very cheap. By the time I review Loyal Agar way back in April, I already own Layton and this is a 2018 batch and I bought Loyal Agar because it is performing even in the heat. Let's tackle first the difference in the presentation. There are no significant changes from the design of the box which are made of paper which makes them very vulnerable during transit. However, I do like they made a cutout inside the box to hold the bottle in place which picks the issue from the older batches. The newer bottle which is 20ml larger is shorter but a bit thicker. Not much changes on the design elements. This both easily sit comfortably in your hand. The biggest changes you will see is in the cap and sprayer. The cap is now tighter and you can now pick it up from the cap which is not possible in the older batches. However, I did notice that it leaves some scratches on the base of the sprayer which is not that visible unless you are really looking for it. The Luxodor branding on the cap has been transferred to the automizer which has received a significant upgrade to the older bottle. You can now control its distribution. For the scent, I was able to detect some difference, especially in the opening. The mandarin orange is a bit more prominent from the older batch, where the newer batch has both the apple and mandarin completely balanced. The older one seems to project much stronger to my nose because of that mandarin orange, where the apple on the newer batch is a bit mild, but the overall scent is much smoother. But it still has a good projection though. However, I found that you can become anosmic to it very easily. 3 hours after the initial spray, both are still going strong and at this point, they smell almost identical to one another and I can't find any difference or whatsoever. The older batch is a bit strong with the projection though, but the newer batch is still not bad. Now testing the newer one side by side with Layton, Loyal Agar is projecting a bit stronger after that 3 hour mark. Other than projection, these are still both very long lasting, longevity is around more than 10 hours and you can smell them on your clothes the next day. There are some difference here and tiny tweaks to the scent but this is definitely not severely watered down compared to other reformulation in the market. Now are these new batches still worth it? Definitely. The older one can get really clawing as mentioned by my good friend Doc Wenzel of Fragrance RX. It still has a tendency to be cloying, especially if you wear it if you overspray this in the summer season. But this newer one has a bit more smoother scent but you can easily become nose blind to it. What you don't want to do is spray on your forearm like this one and smell it for every 15 to 30 minutes where you won't be able to detect it anymore. What you can do is ask the people around you if they can still smell you or you can smell some coffee to be able to detect it, which what I have done while testing this out. I do have my review of prints coming soon and this is a mix between Baccarat Rouge by 40 and Aventus. Subscribe if you don't want to miss it once it is published and please consider hitting the like button if you enjoyed this video. And this has been your Average Fraghead signing off.